Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, July 8, 2009. This morning I'd like to look at a new facility in VisualWorks 7.7 and for that matter Object Studio 8.2. There's a basic revamp of the timer delay system that's been done in this release. And to give you an idea what kind of facilities are available, let's just run this little piece of code. Duration from seconds to wait. So it works kind of like delays did in terms of API. And then after that's done, we just drop something into transcript. So it's going to wait for two seconds and then bop out into the transcript. Now, that doesn't look terribly exciting. You might be wondering at this point, how is that different from delay? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at two things. Let's go to browse class named duration. And duration is kind of a convenience class. It is an interval of time, and it should not be used to measure specific points of time. It just basically is something that if you need a wait for a specific interval, you use a duration. The other class you want to take a look at, browse class named timer. And this is kind of the interesting point where things have started to happen. As you look in here, it runs a block of code every period after an initial period of waiting. That means that you could implement a cron type system in terms of timers, for instance. If you look at this little example here, timer after 10 seconds, resume every 10 seconds it's going to do that. So you have the ability to run a repeatable process and it'll happen every n seconds and it's got nanosecond resolution. Now the interesting thing is, is that they, you look down here it shows you that timers can be instantiated either using system level timers using the operating system facilities assuming they're there or classic facilities. Now the trade-off you get into with this is that if you have a timer that runs with operating system facilities, you have some operating system constraints and you really need to read your platform doc for that. But they're very robust in terms of things like the system clock changing. If you're running off an NTP service for instance and you have soft real-time constraints where time changes are going to come in and you don't want your delays affected by those, if you're running a delay or a duration which is not using OS facilities and the NTP service updates your clock, those can be disrupted and run at times you didn't really expect. A native timer will be immune to that problem. So if you're running with native timers, they don't share that problem. Now the next question you might have is, well, how do I make the decision as to what to use? Well, you can use them based on the API in a mix and match mode if you want, but if you want to specify, you go here to class timer system, you look here into the comments that will explain everything in there, and I highly suggest you read that. But if you come in here, you see use classic interface and use native interface if available. And what that'll do is it'll check to see which interfaces are available on the platform you're on. Use the native one if it's there. If not, it'll fall back to classic. And if you take a look at my system right now, I have just installed this 7.7 image at the moment. So let's go ahead and inspect this. And you see right now, if I do this to the interface, I'm looking at classic. So let's just go ahead and go down here and run this and see what current comes up with. So let's take a look at current and what is it going to tell me? And it's going to tell me that the interface is native available. So it's as easy as that and you now switch over to using platform native facilities and again those will be robust in terms of changes coming in through NTP service, any kind of time change that comes to your system clock. If you set up a duration that you want to run every 10 seconds it'll run every 10 seconds and will not be interrupted by that kind of time adjustment. If you're running the classic ones that are running straight out of Smalltalk, those can be interrupted by those updates. So keep those two things in mind and decide what it is you really need, what's important to you, and whether you really care. So read the documentation, take a look at the class comments, and that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.